We're only human, but some mistakes are bigger than others and have way more far-reaching consequences. Over the thousands of years of human civilization, billions of mistakes have been made. Some of them have been repeated countless times. Until the world is run by robots, it's going to keep happening. But can we afford it? In today's video, we're talking about the 15 most expensive mistakes in history. Uh-oh. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Number 15. The Egg Fryer London has its very own egg fryer. 20 French Churn Street, also known as the Walkie Talkie Building because of its shape, has a pretty major design flaw. Now nicknamed the Walkie Scorchy, it was discovered that the skyscraper has a powerful death ray capable of melting things. The problem is that, because of the angle of the building and the positioning of the glass, when the sunlight hits at a certain time of day, a very intense beam of light is reflected from the building which has caused havoc in the surrounding area. Motorists who park their vehicles near the building complain that the interior of their cars has literally melted. One guy, Martin Lindsay, complained that the light had damaged his Jaguar XJ and nearby store owners complained that the products were getting scorched. The light beam was so intense that people started frying eggs in the sunlight. The building cost $250 million to build and was designed by quirky architect Raphael Vinoli. The architect even realized the flaw before the building was finished, but he couldn't do anything about it. In an interview, he appeared to blame global warming for the powerful ray. In the end, more money had to be spent on fitting the building with special sunshades to stop the glare. Open Discussion Before we move on to number 14, take a look at this. This image seems to be a cargo ship in peril and about to spill its load. There have been plenty of cargo ship disasters in history, and there have always been expensive accidents and mistakes because usually they're carrying millions of dollars worth of goods. Remember when a cargo ship carrying Legos lost its load and pieces started washing up all over East Britain and West Europe? That's a crazy story. I wonder if this image is real, and if so, what this ship is carrying. Give me your guesses in the comment section, and don't forget to use the hashtag OpenDiscussion. Number 14. The Hindenburg Disaster The Hindenburg Disaster was one of the most disturbing accidents of all time and put an end to the era of airships and blimps. Back in 1937, when the accident took place, travel by Zeppelin was widely praised by wealthy passengers who could afford to fly this way. The industry had been thriving for 30 years and transported passengers from Europe to North and South America in half the time it took to travel on even the fastest ocean liners. Sadly, it all came to an abrupt end in around 32 seconds as the airliner came into land in Lakehurst, New Jersey. We don't actually know for sure what sparked the fire, but we do know that 7 million cubic feet of hydrogen gas was ignited, tearing a horrifying blaze through the ship, which came crashing down to Earth. Some believe that sabotage was at play, but other theories include the gas chamber receiving some kind of puncture, a fuel leak, a lightning strike, static sparks, or engine failure. Whatever happened, it shouldn't have. 35 of the 97 people on board died in the accident and the majority of those who did survive were horribly burned. People on the ground took photographs of the incident, which are still some of the most terrifying images ever captured in history. 32 seconds and an entire industry quite literally went up in flames. Sheesh. Number 13. The Lake Penure Disaster. What initially seemed like a $5 million mistake quickly turned into a catastrophe worth nearly $140 million in fees. For those of you who have never heard of the Lake Penure Disaster, let me tell you a story. Lake Penure was the name of a freshwater lake in Louisiana and was the site of an oil rig. On November 21st, 1980, 12 men abandoned the rig as they felt it start to collapse underneath them. It seems that the oil drill had accidentally punctured a salt mine 11 feet deep under the lake as a result of some miscalculations. The puncture flooded part of the mine with water, and when the salt mixed with the liquid, it began to dissolve. As a result, a big sinkhole opened up and began draining the lake. Eyewitnesses report seeing 11 barges swallowed whole like rubber ducks. 
Scarier still, there were people working in the mines. Although through a stroke of luck, they were successfully evacuated before anyone could get hurt. The most important thing is that nobody died in the accident across the board, but that doesn't mean there wasn't enormous damage. The whirlpool that had been created by the accident sucked up 3.5 billion gallons of water and also began sucking in water from the Gulf of Mexico. Eventually, what had been a freshwater lake turned into a saltwater lake, totally destroying its entire ecology. Multiple lawsuits were filed and the miscalculation ended up costing around $140 million, which in 1980 was a lot. Number 12. The Billion Dollar Decimal Point Spain spent $3 billion on four S-80 class submarines in 2013. The only problem was that they were 75 to 100 tons overweight, meaning they struggled to uh, actually work, which, you know, is kind of a military bummer. The blunder came as the then Spanish Prime Minister, Mariano Rajoy, had cut Spain's military budget by 30% and ultimately saw his approval rating hit an all-time low. An official review reported that the four submarines would need to be extended up to six meters each in order to increase their buoyancy, although that would likely cost nearly $10 million per meter. So, this would likely cost just under an extra $240 million. Uh-oh. So, how does someone even make this kind of mistake? Rafael Bardargi, the director of the Office of Strategic Assessment at Spain's Defense Ministry, blamed it on an errant decimal point. Right. Number 11. The Late Departure In October 2020, a new Berlin airport may finally open nine years behind schedule. Or that was the plan before the whole COVID-19 thing. Construction began on Berlin-Brandenburg Airport in 2006 and was supposed to open in 2011, but the project has seen a string of crazy delays. Originally intended to relieve the growing pressure on Berlin's Tegel Airport, Brandenburg has become more hassle than it's worth. The tale of misfortune here is a long one, so I'll try and keep it brief for you. Some of the issues the project has come across has been bankruptcy, company restructures, construction errors, logistical errors, failure of safety inspections from numerous infractions, fraud, corruption, tenancy issues, and then, just as things were getting on track, an outbreak of COVID-19 among construction workers at the airport. It seems like the airport is cursed. Beyond all the issues mentioned, world travel is in a state of disarray right now, airlines are begging for bailouts, and people aren't going anywhere fast. The industry is buckling and the latest setback could be the final nail in the coffin of the Brandenburg Airport, which is already billions of dollars over its original budget estimate. What fate has in store for this airport, we just don't know. <laughs> The Million Dollar Mustache Henry Cavill is a pretty big star these days. The 37-year-old British actor now plays the role of Superman and more recently has starred in Mission Impossible Fallout. The man is worth millions, and so it seems his facial hair is as well. A mustache caused serious issues in Hollywood as Cavill was filming Mission Impossible while a series of reshoots were needed for Justice League. Under contract with Paramount, the film studio would not allow Cavill and Warner Brothers to shave his facial hair to film the DC comic scenes. Superman doesn't have a mustache for the rest of the movie, so scenes where he suddenly sports one would have been misplaced. Warner Brothers begged Paramount to let the star shave and even offered to pay for a mustache wig to be made, or for the studio to digitally add one at some scenes, but they refused. In the end, Cavill was forced to film his scenes for Warner Brothers with a full stash, and then they had to digitally remove it in post-production to the tune of $3 million. Wow, this dude's mustache is worth more in one movie than I'll probably make in my entire life. I, I can't deal. A not-so-splendid disaster. The Chinese government were accused of trying to indoctrinate Americans via a theme park called Splendid China, and the result was millions of dollars of loss. The story goes that Splendid China opened up in the unofficial world capital of theme parks, Orlando, in Florida. The park was a sister park to Splendid China in Shenzhen, China, which is still doing business today. The 75-acre park contained over 60 replicas of Chinese structures, most of which were around one-tenth their actual size. 
The park even contained a half mile long replica of the Great Wall of China. There were live performers, dancers, acrobats, musicians, etc., who added to the vibe. Splendid China was owned by an arm of the Chinese government and people began to suspect the aim of the park was to indoctrinate people. Things got political as Splendid China tried to claim ownership of some Tibetan and Mongolian heritage which caused a big outcry. On top of that, a number of the Chinese performers escaped the park and claimed asylum in the States. In 1999, it was reported that the park was losing $9 million a year. Losses became more and more significant until Splendid China finally decided to shut its doors for good in 2003. The land, worth $100 million, fell into disrepair and saw a spate of over 100 break-ins. The land was eventually sold off for a fraction of the price, and now it's a Margaritaville resort. The Cerro Grande Fire What happens when a controlled fire suddenly gets out of hand? One of America's most expensive mistakes, that's what. The Cerro Grande fire started on purpose in the Bandelier National Monument on May 10, 2000. Dry conditions and high winds carried the fire off course, and by the end of the day, the fire had spread across 18,000 acres. Days later, it nearly destroyed the entire town of Los Alamos and had destroyed 280 homes. Luckily, residents were warned and evacuated, but they had only had a few hours to gather their belongings and head to safety, with most of their possessions totally destroyed. In the end, the fire swept across 47,000 forested acres and caused $1 billion in damage. Things could have been much worse, too. The fire approached the Los Alamos National Laboratory. Had it torn through, radiation and other chemical hazards could have been released into the air, which have caused a lot more damage, especially to people's health. The Baltic Ace Collision Human error caused a collision between cargo carrier Baltic Ace and container vessel Corvus J. The incident took place in December 2012 in the freezing waters of the North Sea, around 30 miles from Rotterdam, and the cargo vessel began to sink. Dutch and Belgian rescue teams were able to rescue 13 crew members, but 11 were reported as missing or dead. Most of those who did survive suffered from hypothermia as a result of 3-meter waves and lashings of snow. The container vessel, Corvus J, was damaged but saleable and helped assist in the rescue mission. Over the course of the next few years, 140,000 gallons of oil was drained from the wreck, which was then cut up and raised from the seabed. It seems that a human mistake led to the ship's colliding paths. The mistake cost 11 lives and 1,400 cars. The ship was carrying 1,400 Mitsubishis. Although the cars were pulled from the wreck, they were not salvageable as working vehicles. It's estimated that the damage cost $150 million. Ron Wayne's $94 billion mistake. $120 billion is an amount of money I simply cannot fathom. It would take an average paid worker 21,000 years just to earn $1 billion. So $94 billion would take millions of years. I struggle to even understand how much money that is. But whatever it looks like, that's how much Apple co-founder Ron Wayne sold his shares for when the company went public. Wayne met Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak in the 1970s, and he was given 10% shares in Apple, but he sold them just two weeks later for $800. In 2019, his 10% stake would have been worth $94 million. So yeah, to say he lost out could be one of the biggest understatements in history. Although Wayne doesn't see his decision as a mistake at all, in an interview, he said, I've never regretted my decision for one moment. If I had stayed with them through the Apple Corporation phase, I probably would have ended up the richest man in the cemetery. He also claimed that an ice cube had more warmth than the late Steve Jobs. I guess money really isn't everything. The biggest nuclear disaster you're very likely to have heard of the Chernobyl disaster, especially following the successful 2019 HBO series retelling of the disaster. However, you may not know just how expensive it was. Human error led to the worst nuclear disaster in history, which took place on April 26, 1968, at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant near the city of Pripyat. 
the number four nuclear reactor exploded and caught fire, releasing harmful airborne radioactive material that fell into the nearby town and also blew across Russia and Western Europe for nine days. 68,000 people lost their homes, with a 19-mile exclusion zone still in place around the plant. The dollar value placed on the damage is $235 billion, making it one of the most expensive mistakes ever made. The real value is much higher because it resulted in significant loss of human life. 31 people died in the immediate aftermath of the explosion, with another 60 directly linked to the disaster passing away as a result in the decades that followed. It's estimated that the explosion actually caused thousands of deaths in the years to come as a result of far-reaching spread of harmful radiation. In 2006, former Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev commented that he thought that the Chernobyl meltdown could have been the real cause of the collapse of the Soviet Union. The Sale of Alaska Who's going around selling off Alaska? Russia, in 1867, and I'm pretty sure they regret it. Russia used to own Alaska, and as I'm sure you can imagine, that was a problem for the United States who did not want them so close to their territory. Even back then, politics between the two nations was a little tense. Originally, Russia had used the land for fur trapping, but they had never had a big settlement in Alaska. They found their business less lucrative as they over-hunted the sea otters to the brink of extinction. Luckily for the US, in the aftermath of the Crimean War, Emperor Alexander II of Russia wanted a little extra cash and was looking to sell land at exactly the time the US, hot off the back of the Civil War, wanted to buy some. Public opinion leaned towards Alaska being an Arctic wasteland, so when the US bought the land for $7.2 million, most people thought Russia had a good deal, even if that did equate to just two cents per acre. I wish I could get an acre for two cents. Can you imagine that? I guess people didn't know too much about how valuable oil was back then. Despite what people thought, the US secured the land, which served useful in expanding American trade in Asia and was worth an estimated $200 billion in resources. Eventually, Alaska became a state and ownership of the space has made national security in the US so, so much tighter. Can you imagine how the Cold War would have gone down if Russia still owned that land? The metric system blunder I've often wondered why here in the United States we use a different measuring system to the rest of the world. Sure, all 330 million of us are cool with it, but what happens when we try to work with the rest of the world? Uh, just a mistake worth $500 million? The Mars Climate Orbiter was designed to be the first Martian weather observer. Scientists hoped that the mission would provide evidence of buried water and would have paved the way to a NASA trip to Mars. Launched in 1998, the orbiter was lost in September 1999 in a navigational accident that washed hundreds of millions of dollars down the drain. After an investigation, it turns out that the navigation commands sent from Earth were sent in pound seconds rather than newton seconds. The error caused the orbiter to miss its intended orbit by around 90 miles, after which it was presumed to have disintegrated. The orbiter itself was worth $125 million, but the mistake was said to have cost nearer to a half billion. Rain on the Spirit of Kansas The crash of the B-2 stealth bomber, Spirit of Kansas, in 2008 has been deemed the most expensive crash in the United States Air Force history, and it was all thanks to rain. The plane B-2 bomber was taking off from the U.S. territory at the Anderson Air Force Base in Guam when it crashed on the runway. The plane had logged 5,100 flight hours and was the first ever B-2 crash. The two pilots ejected from the plane and survived, thankfully, but the aircraft couldn't be saved. It and the classified material it was carrying smashed into the runway, causing a loss of $1.4 billion. The reason the B-2 crashed is because rain caused moisture to mess with the aircraft's sensors. The sensors were used to calculate airspeed and altitude, but the calculations came out wrong, which caused the aircraft to jerk to a crazy angle during takeoff. It's incredible that the two crew members were able to escape. Had they been in the plane, they would have been burned when the aircraft's fuel ignited and turned the wreck into a raging fire. The Costly Concordia In 2012, 
One man's mistake cost the lives of 32 people as well as $1.2 billion of damage. On January 23rd, Costa Concordia captain Francesco Chitino steered the cruise ship off route and close to the island of Giglio off the Italian coast of Tuscany. Why? Because he wanted to wave to shore. This turned out to be the most costly salute in history. Italy's former largest cruise liner collided with a coral reef and was left with a 174-foot tear as a result. Five compartments, inclusive of the engine room, were flooded. Rescue boats did not arrive for over an hour, and Captain Chitino made another major mistake by downplaying the damage. His third mistake was perhaps his most inexcusable. He abandoned the ship and later claimed he fell into a lifeboat, taking him to safety while 300 people were still trapped on board the vessel. Rescue teams saved 4,194 people from the ship, but 32 lost their lives, with some bodies remaining on the ship until 2014. The ship didn't sink, but was no longer in a condition to sail. With 2,000 tons of fuel still on board, it was a potential biohazard. Eventually, the oil was drained and the ship was towed to Genoa two and a half years later at great expense. Captain Chitino had been sentenced to 16 years in prison for his blunders and reckless abandon. The company that owned the ship sidestepped criminal damages by paying a $1.1 million fine. Honestly, the whole situation shocks me. How can a captain abandon a ship like that? I understand some of the mistakes on this list. While a lot of them have been tragic, this one makes me the most angry. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you've learned a little bit more about some of the most expensive mistakes in history. <laughs> I sure have. Why don't you let me know which mistakes you thought were the dumbest in the comment section down below.